Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you. Kindly confirm that you can see my screen and you can hear me clearly. Please confirm by stating hi in the comment section so that we can get this session started. I want to make sure that we are on the same page so that we don't get things mixed up here. Okay, so what do we have here? All right, Carrie is on. Good morning, Carrie. All right, thank you very much for that confirmation. And I think we are good to go at this point. So let's quickly get ourselves prepared. All right. So good morning once again. And welcome to yet another promising session of Hexprint Speed Life. Hosted by my humble self, Sheriff Daramola. I will be taking you on a trading journey. In the next one hour where we will be looking at the financial markets reading through the charts to and sniffing to identify trading opportunities lining up for us during the new york session today and one thing that's peculiar with the session is that we rely on our technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us this coming session and also I would like to state that if you have any pair or commodity you want us to look at feel free to drop it in the comment section and I will try as much as possible to inculcate this pair of commodity in my plans for today so without further ado let's dive into the chat and let's see what is happening so as usual, the first thing we are going to be doing is to look at what we have deliberated on yesterday. We want to look at the pairs we looked at yesterday. We want to see how well the pairs are doing so far. And one thing we'll do, we'll run through those pairs. We'll look at any, any updates available, any advices or any suggestions. How we'll be sharing them with you in the next couple, in the next one hour. So I will advise you to stay tuned in to the end of the session so that you don't miss out on any of these ideas I'm about to share. So let's dive into the chat and the first pair we are going to be deliberating on today is the US oil. And what do we have on the US oil? Um, I looked at my chat this morning and I saw how prices continue to the downside on the US oil hereby negating all buying opportunities that we were looking forward to yesterday. And if you remember vividly, right now we are on a one hour time frame, first of all. And we actually identified this buy zone right around the $93 level and the $94.50 level. So we were actually expecting that that bullish trend line here, this green bullish trend line, will be respected one more time in such a way that price will come back into this level where we want to be looking forward to reversal pattern from this point that will be projecting price to the upside however that did not happen and the other scenario which we which we um suggested was actually implemented as i told you that if price does not respect that bullish trend line that is it doesn't go to the upside from here and we see a breakdown of that bullish trend line then we want to be seeing that move as a sign that we might be having a momentum shift and a retest of that structure will give us a confirmation to join the decline and that's exactly what happened as we saw our price rejected this area a couple of times before we saw that engulfing candle that took price out of that 92 and 93 dollar area right now into the 88 dollar 60 cent point so the first thing I'll be saying here, the first thing we want to do here is to delete this buy zone as it's no longer relevant at this juncture in the market. And I also want to take give you a kudos if you had take advantage of this move to the downside from here. 
so we have in we are running with about over 400 pips in profit at this point in time so kudos to you for identifying that trading opportunity and right now what is going to be our plans going forward well if we look at the higher time frame hold on a second let's delete this this 93 dollar level isn't relevant anymore so our next key level that we want to be using is the 92 dollar level so to have a better perspective of what is actually going on on this pair what we want to be doing is to scale up a little into the daily time frame so on the daily time frame let's see what the structure what structure we have on the daily time frame remember during the early days of the week we were able to identify a bullish trend line here after connecting the series of higher lows so with the series of higher lows connected here we have a resultant bullish trend line which we observed has been rejected in the past couple of weeks we can see how price has been caught within the consolidation phase around this area since the early days of the week so the early days of this month so right now what is going to be our expectation so far after we have seen what happened in the last 24 hours where a engulfing bearish candle took over and broke out of the structure we were looking for bullish momentum so right now on the daily time frame if we zoom in closely into the current structure hold on a second if we zoom into the current structure here we can see that we had an engulfing candle during the course of yesterday's trading we saw this engulfing candle negating all the profit that we made so far this week hereby price coming back into the one thousand the eight eight dollar fifty cent area and one thing significant about this move to the downside is that price is right back on that bullish trend line so this bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame we can see that price is right back on that bullish trend line so what is going to be our plans today are we going to be having a trend continuation to the downside in such a way that price will significantly break down that bullish trend line where we are going to be having a retest of structure to send price going to the downside or could this be a way of shaking out participants that have actually took a buy opportunity and make this move a false one where a bullish momentum could likely come in afterwards so this is what we want to be looking at this um, this session so let's scale down to the four hours time frame where we want to see things more clearly and let's see what is actually happening so remember we identified this bullish trend line during the early days of this week where we were expecting that bullish we were expecting price to respect that bullish trend line to push price to the upside so right now we have a breakdown of that structure here we had a breakdown of that bullish trend line we had the retest of the $92.50 area and price continued to the downside from here so if you are still in this move uh, the first thing I'll be saying right now is to move your stop loss to lock into profit at this point or if you are in a long term position you can move your stop loss to break even but what we want to be doing here for those especially who have not taken advantage of this bearish opportunity is to look out for opportunities lining up for us this new york session so what structures do we go are we going to be looking out for to take advantage of this trend continuation to the downside so right now um hold on a second i want to have a clean chart here so let's let's still some so okay so right now on the four hours time frame remember we were able to connect the series of lower highs on the four hours time frame to identify this bearish trend line that is price has been respecting this bearish trend line since the month of june we can see consistent um, test of this bearish trend line whereby price continue to respect that bearish trend line but what happened during the mid months and they made mid of August we saw a breakout of that trend line here and remember from a technical perspective whenever we identify such breakouts of structure like this either a breakout or a breakdown of structure we expect that price will at one point in time come back to do a retest of that structure to give us a confirmation of a trend continuation to the upside so now that we have this bearish trend line extended further into the future we saw a breakout of that bearish trend line here we saw a breakout here and we might be expecting that price will come back to do a retest of that bearish trend line 
whereby we look out for patterns on lower time frame that support a trend continuation to the upside. So going into the New York session today, we want to be looking forward to how price is going to relate with this level or how far this retracement move is going to go. So we have a retracement move running already in the last 24 hours. Here we can see this move to the downside pair. And one thing we want to be looking forward to is when will this retracement move end? So we want to look forward to when it's going to end, where will it end, and how are we going to know this retracement move has ended? So now I will give you a clue into identifying how to, ident to know if that retracement move has ended. So what we want to be looking forward to during the New York session today is that we want to be looking forward to a reversal pattern. It could be your double bottom structure, something like this. That will push price to the upside or it could be your inverse head and shoulder pattern something like this like this a sharp rejection of this area price comes back and then we see the move to the upside from here or we could be looking forward to something like a um, falling wedge where we see price do something like this um, do like this and then we see final breakout of structure retest of structure on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside so during the New York session today, we patience is hereby required. So if you're still in this trade, the selling momentum that we took advantage of yesterday, we want to be locking in some profit, move your stop loss to somewhere appropriate so that you don't get stopped out if, an on, if a sudden spike in price action happens. So now we want to be patient enough to wait for how price is going to relate with either, either this level or this key level we identify at the $85 mark. Remember, we had this key level on the daily time frame. Let me show you so that you can see what I'm talking about here. So we had this key level here at the $85 mark on the on the $85 mark on the daily time frame. Here we can see how this level was respected in the past. We can see how selling momentum started from this point. We saw a breakout retest of the structure here, and price is right back within this area during um, the last couple of weeks. We saw price reject that level one more time. So are we going to see price come back to this level this, this week to push price to the upside? So this is what we want to be looking forward to. So let's get ourselves prepared. Remember what I said here, we want to be waiting for um, a reversal pattern to give us a signal that this retracement phase has ended and so we look out for patterns on lower time frame that will support a trend continuation to the upside on this one. So for those who are still in this trade, um, I would be advising you move your, your take profit target, extend your take profit target to somewhere around the $85 mark and continue to monitor your monitor price action. As price moves in your direction, you continue to move your stop loss to protect your position size. So this is our scenario on the US oil. So let's see how price action is going to play out during the New York session today and we will be ready to take advantage of that move. So if you have any question whatsoever on this US oil that we just discussed so far, feel free to drop in an inquiry in the comment section and I will be taking some time to look at the comment section to see if there are any questions whatsoever in that regard. So that is that on the US oil. So like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section while I move on to the next pair. So the next commodity we want to be looking at today is the US tech. So on the US tech, what do we have on the US tech? So let's scale up into the one hour, okay? Into the one hour time frame. Let's scale down to the one hour time frame. And I will show you what happened during the last 24 hours. Here, yeah, we we actually saw this move. We took advantage of this move yesterday. Remember, we took advantage of the breakout of this channel. Remember, we saw this channel since the beginning of the week. We saw our price was consolidated between the $12,500 area and the $12,400 area before this final breakout of structure happened. And we took advantage of this bullish potential after a retest of structure with multiple rejection of that zone around the $12,500 level. So we took advantage of this move to the upside and we were actually in profit 
um, as at yesterday's trading session. And one thing I told you at this point is that we should move our stop loss to break even as this might likely be a retracement move to the upside. And considering that the fact that we are on a strong term bearish momentum, we want to be looking forward to, uh, want to be expecting that we could be having a sudden push to the downside from this point. So I told you to move your stop loss to break even. And for those who are not in this trade yesterday, one thing I said here is that we should be looking for something. If price comes back into the $12,570 area, where a multiple rejection of this level happens, then we want to be taking advantage of a bullish continuation to the upside. However, that did not happen. As we saw price break, we saw our price broke down that area to the downside. And one more thing, one more parameter I shared with you yesterday to guide our action during the New York session yesterday was this bullish trend line here. So I told you how this bullish trend line is significant as we want to see price action come back to do a retest of this key level and this bullish trend line to give us um, uh, probably a multiple rejection of this level, something like that. Then we look forward to buying potential on this one. So that did not happen. We saw a significant breakdown of that structure. So I told you that if we have a breakdown of the structure, then a retest of the structure should give us further confirmation to join the decline. So now going into the New York session today, what is going to be our plan? What is going to be our plan going to the New York session today? Well, it is very, very simple. We have a very simple setup here that we can take advantage of. So right now, we still have our key level sitting at around the $12,500 area. Hold on a second. Um, I think it's $12,500. Let me, let's readjust this. We have, we have a key level sitting around the $12,500. Um, okay. And the breakdown of this bullish trend line is just a signal that the bearish momentum that has gripped this market in the last couple of weeks is still very, very strong. So what we have here is... In the last 24 hours is a breakdown of structure and we have um, a move that looks more like a retracement phase right now. So we don't know how this retracement phase is going to go. Is it going to go as far as coming back into the $12,500 area or probably come back to do a retest of this bullish trend line where we want to be looking forward to a reversal pattern to join the decline to the downside. So these are one of the th these are one of the few things we want to be looking at during the New York session today. And another thing we want to do is to take into consideration this impulsive move to the downside. So if we have this impulsive move to the downside here, then where will our re where will this retracement face end? So from a technical perspective, we always look at the golden zone area as an area where we expect tentatively that the retracement phase is going to end. So what we want to be doing here is to bring out our Fibonacci retracement tool, run it through the previous impulse leg that we have here, and we should be looking at somewhere around the 50s and the 78.6% of the previous of the retracement to take advantage of a bearish momentum. So if we're going to be identifying that between the 50 and the 78.6% zone area, we have somewhere around here. So hold on a second, let's give this a label so we Let's label this the sell zone right now. Remember, we're considering the long-term bearish momentum on this one. So we have the sell zone right around here. So let's give this a yellow. And then, uh, okay, that's good. So we have something like this right now. So we have a sell zone right between the $12,450 area and the $12,500 area. So one thing we want to be looking forward to is price come back into the sell zone area. So do we have that? fine we have a sharp rejection of this area in fact we had multiple rejection of this 50 50 between the 50 and the 68 point um, 61.8 percent area before we saw this move to the downside so let's see if price is coming back to do a retest of the structure that will push price to the downside or probably price is still going to come back into this level to enter a trend continuation to the downside so what we want to be looking at right now is this i want to scale down to the 15 minutes time frame and why am I going down to the 15 minutes time frame? The reason why that is, is simply because I want to see how the market structure around this area is. So if we have a reversal pattern there, then we want to be identifying a neckline where we want to be looking forward to a retest of that neckline to give us a confirmation 
that price is actually going to the downside from this point. So let's scale down to the 15 minutes time frame. So right on the 15 minutes time frame, this is what we have here. So on the 15 minutes time frame, we have this move that happened. We had this move to the upside. Hold on. We had this move. We had a sharp rejection of this area within our sell zone. We saw multiple rejection of this level. We can see and then we saw a breakdown of that structure. So what we want to do here is to bring out our line chart, identify the neckline around this area. Okay. So we have a neckline right around the 12,450. Is it so or 12,420, I guess. So we are going to make this a purple. Uh, let's see. And we label it $12,420. $12,420. So we place this right at the top on the right hand side of our screen for the sake of clarity. So we have something like this to look forward to. So we already have a structure right around the $12,420 area. Yeah. So now that we have a breakout of that structure here on the 15 minutes time frame we saw our price came back into this area giving us something that looks like a signal of a trend continuation to the downside so what we want to be looking forward to in the new york session is um, a situation where price comes back into the twelve thousand four hundred and twenty dollar area or it could come as far as the twelve thousand four hundred and forty but somewhere around this area we want to see reversal patterns to support to give us the um confirmation that we want to be going bearish at this point so so we have a breakdown of structure here we have a breakdown of structure here we expect price to come back and do a sharp rejection of the structure to give us that confirmation that a bearish move is imminent at this point so this is what we are looking forward to during the new york session today now there is another caveat to this what is that caveat? The caveat is this. If at any point during the New York session, we see significant breakout of this $12,420 area, then we want to be patient to wait for price to come back into the $12,500 area or probably somewhere around within the selling zone area or the rejection of this area. So anywhere around here, but what we want to look forward to is a reversal pattern. We want to see like a double top structure i'm just citing this as an example it could be something else it could be a different reversal pattern i'm just citing the double top structure here so if we see something like this then um, we want to take advantage of a trend continuation to the downside from here so this is the scenario we are looking forward to considering the breakdown of that bullish trend line we saw here in the last 24 hours we want to be looking forward to bearish momentum on the us tech so now that we've identified this where will our take profit target be well that is very simple what we're going to be looking at is this we want to be looking at the bearish impulsive move that happened during the new york session um during the new york session yesterday that is this move to the downside we want to project this move into the future with something like this and we we, we only use that we only use our fibonacci extension tool to get this figure so we have we run the Fibonacci extension to through the oh, oh, oh. okay we run the, the extension to through the previous impulse leg here and what do we do we aim at the between the area between the 127.2 and the 1414 area as an area for our take profit target so we're going to be having somewhere around the twelve thousand one hundred dollar area as our take profit target at this point so we label this area tp target okay let's place it right inside the box so we have um so we have somewhere here as our take profit target which will be dovetail into at least a minimum of uh, let's see how many pips that is uh that is about um 350 400 pips there about to catch here if price moves as expected so this is what we have here on the us tech we're expecting a selling momentum here on the us tech the breakdown of that structure we're expecting a retest we're expecting price to come back to do a retest of this neckline or move to as far as the sell zone here to take advantage of a trend continuation to the downside so if you have any question whatsoever on the us tech that i've just explained so far 
feel free to drop a word or two in the comment section and I will be willing to be of help. So while I move on, I will continue to check into the into the chat section to see if there are any questions whatsoever that I can be of help with. So the next pair we are going to be looking at is the hold on a second which pair is that okay the next pair we are going to be looking at is the usd jpy well the usd jpy has been very very um choppy in the last 48 hours we can see despite the fact that we've been expecting this um a bullish momentum on this usd jpy we actually identified a buy zone around the 137 dollar area somewhere around here that we're looking forward to a buying opportunity we were looking forward to a buying opportunity around here yesterday but um in the last 24 hours in fact it's 48 hours we have been witnessing a consolidation phase since price tested the 139 japanese yen area we can see our price has been consolidating around this area that's between the 139 dollar 139 japanese yen area and the 138.2 Japanese area, hereby um, giving us a clue into the indecision that is happening in the market. So there is a likelihood that participants are actually waiting for the non-farm payroll that is coming up um, on Friday. And another, I think we have the, hold on a second, let's check through the economic calendar. I think we also have a very important event coming up today yes we do have we have one uh that one is starting in the next um 15 minutes i guess no in the next one hour we are going to be seeing the adp employment change which is coming up and the consensus is the consensus on this one is very positive which is a good sign for the dollar but um we don't know what the result is going to be like so we probably pass my waiting for either the adp or the higher sign manufacturing pmi coming up tomorrow or the non-farm payroll coming up on friday so we have we have a couple of key events that is likely going to um give the dollar a catalyst this week so that's why we're seeing this consolidation phase happening around here as participants are actually waiting for that catalyst to give them a clue into the direction that price action will be moving at this point so one thing i want to be doing here like i said i will be waiting for price to come back into this buy zone for me to be thinking of any buying opportunity on the usd jpy especially if you had missed this move to the upside from here if you had missed this move to the upside from this point then at this point you will just have to wait to see a, a significant retracement back into a key level to be taking advantage of a trend continuation to the upside on the usd jpy so in addition to this let's see what the structure the structure of this consolidation phase is giving us so if we bring out our line chart at this point and then we connect we connect these points together let's see what happens let's see what structure we're going to be having okay so this is more or less like a resistant level i think the 139 yeah uh the 139 area appears to be um olden price action resisted in the last 48 hours so i want to give this a purple then we have um this area here hold on a second let's see so we have this area here at around the 138 um 100 i guess 138.1 area so we have a consolidation phase right within this area so this is more or less like a bullish signal sorry like a bullish rectangle from a technical perspective this is more or less a bullish rectangle so one thing we want to do here is to the first one i want to be doing here is to wait for price to come back to break down the structure break down this trend line to come back into this buy zone where i want to be looking forward to buying opportunities uh from this area however considering the current structure we just identified today here we have something that looks like a bullish rectangle so we want to be waiting for a signal which is likely going to come in form of a breakout of that structure so if we have a breakout of the structure during the new york session then a retest of the structure should give us a confirmation to join 
the rally to the upside. So we can see the two scenarios I just shared here. The first scenario is that price should come back into this buy zone here at around the 137 Japanese yen area where we want to be looking for reversal patterns to push price to the upside and if that does not happen and price continues to trend on the high side then a breakout of this channel that is price breaks out of the structure the structure here taking out all the selling um, selling opportunities here and then a breakout then a retest of the structure with patterns on lower time frame that support a trend continuation then we can actually join that rally to the upside here so our take profit target still remains somewhere around the 140 japanese yen and i think we have a long-term take profit target which falls around the 143 japanese yen area and the 145 japanese yen area and so on a long-term perspective we are looking at about um about 400 to 500 pips here and on the short term we are looking about 100 to 120 pips on the usd jpy so this is the scenario we are looking forward to on the usd jpy so let's see how price action plays out during the new york session today and definitely tomorrow we'll come here to look at how well the pair has been doing so the next pair we are going to be looking at is the usd chf the usd chf has been trending on the high side very very strongly and this is not too good for those who actually miss that move that is that move that began this week from this point uh we saw this move so if you had missed that move from that point then definitely um we we were not given any room to to join the rally since the beginning of the week so if you had missed that move from the up from that point then definitely um we we just we don't we have no other choice than to be patient to wait for uh further confirmations to uh, to join the the the, the the rally so right now we have this bullish trend line here so if we are going to be if you had missed the move to the upside that is this move to the upside then one thing i'll be suggesting on the usd chf is that we become patient to wait for either price come back to respect this bullish trend line with patterns on lower time frame to support a trend continuation to the upside here or we wait in such a way that for instance now this our initial tp target zone has been hit here and and this area appears to be a resistant point it has been a selling niche in the past if you look at what happened during the um during the new york session yesterday we saw a sharp rejection of the 0 0.97500 area here and during the early hours today we have seen a breakout of that structure like in the form of this move and then it's like i said if you had missed that move then we want to wait for price to come back to do a retest of the 0 0.97500 area where patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation should give us a confirmation to join the rally to the upside so we have our tp target the second tp target around the 0 0.98500 area and the 0 0.9900 area which will be dovetailing to about the 100 220 pips to catch here and then the next take profit target is around the 1.000 um swiss franc area as well so let's see how price action plays out on the us the chf remember since the beginning of the week we've been expecting this bullish potential so we don't know so if we had missed that move if we had missed that move from the beginning of the week then definitely you want to be patient to wait for um, a retest of a structure to join the rally to the upside so the bullish trend on the usd chf is still very very strong so let's see how we can take advantage of that move let's see if we are going to be having a retest of the structure at this point to be to join the rally to the upside so that is that on the usd chf and let's see what happens on the wire time frame okay on the higher time frame uh, is more or less the same so there is no other area we can be looking forward to that is for those people who had missed the initial move then you can you should you have two choice you either wait for price to come back and do a retest of a significant structure like the 0 0.97500 area or you pass the trade so that is that on the USD CHF. that's a very short one on the USD CHF because there's nothing much and let's see how price plays out during the new york session today
and I hope you stay be on standby to take advantage of the trend continuation at this point. So the next pair we're going to be looking at is the Euro USD. The Euro USD has been moving as projected um, in the last 24 hours. Uh, remember, let me let's okay on the four hours time frame. Remember how we we identified a bearish momentum on the daily time frame after we were able to connect the series of lower highs. And one thing we observed on the Euro US this four hours chart is that we have a key level, a major key level at the 1.0100 level. And I called your attention to what happened during the course of last trading session, where we saw how our price was a little choppy. We saw our price was consolidating right around the $1 area and the $0.99900 area. And one thing I told you yesterday was that we want to be waiting for a bearish momentum. So we scaled down to the one hour time frame. And what did we see on the one hour time frame? So on the one hour time frame, we saw this, um, this rejection of this $1 level which is a very, very strong psychological level. We can see how price has continued rejecting that uh, um, $1 level during the course of last week trading session. We saw multiple rejections, as you can see, I'm showing you on the screen right now, though we saw a breakout of the structure yesterday, sorry, during the later part of last week trading session, but immediately price came back to close right below the $1 mark. And during the early days of this week, I, I called your attention to this channel after we connected the series of, hold on a second, the series, the series of higher lows here. So we saw the series of higher lows here. We connected it to find this temporary bullish trend line. And after identifying this bullish trend line, we were expecting a signal to happen for a bearish momentum in the form of a breakdown of that trend line. So we saw the breakdown of the trend line here. And that gave us a signal and we, which we were waiting for a confirmation in the form of a retest of the structure. So we were able to identify a sell zone right around the 1.00500 area and the $1.000 area. And what we saw in the last 48 hours has been multiple rejection of that zone, giving us a clue into the strength of the sellers at this point. So. During the course of yesterday's trading session, I told you how below the $1 mark is an area we should be looking forward to for selling opportunities. And lo and behold, we have price right below that level. If you are taking advantage of that move right now, kudos to you for taking advantage of that move. And if you are not yet in this trade, you could be joining right away or you could wait for price action to come back and do a retest of the, either the bullish trend line or the level at the $1 mark area where we look out for a patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside. So the setup we have here on the Euro USD is a very, very simple setup. So let's see how price will continue to respect the structures we have identified here. Remember, we have two parameters that will guide our action during the New York session today. So I identified the $1 mark area and then we identified the bullish trend line where we want to continue to see price action right below these levels to be comfortable in our selling position on the euro usd so if you are in the trade, kudos to you for being for for identifying that opportunity so let's see how price continues to the ups to the downside and if you are not in the trade, you could join right away or you could wait for price to come back and do a sharp rejection or look out for patterns on lower time frame around this area that will support a trend continuation to the downside mind you price could still come as far as climbing back above the one dollar mark but one thing we want to be looking forward to our reversal pattern so it could be your double top structure your inverse your head and shoulder pattern whatever it is you look out for the structure at lower time frame then you join the breakout of that structure to the downside so our take profit target on the euro usd zero remains around the 0 0.98500 area which will be dovetailing to about 150 pips for us to catch here if price continues as expected on the 
euro usd so this is what we have here on the euro usd we continue to expect that bearish momentum to happen so let's see how that plays out during the new york session today and um, i wish you best of luck on the euro usd as well so let's see the next pair we want to be looking at so what's the next pair we want to be looking at okay um let me let me go through the chat let me take a break and go through the chat and see if there are any questions whatsoever uh, okay Mm, hold on a second. Let's go play. Okay, so let's move on to the next pair. So the next pair we are going to be looking at today is the... Okay. I, um, I don't think the user Mechacha... Mech, okay. Mechacha is not a customer service agent. Please be mindful of the message he has dropped in the comment section. Um, so... All right, so let's move on to the next pair. The next pair we are looking at is, what was the next pair we're looking at? Um, I, okay, the GPP USD. Okay, on the GPP USD, price action has been moving as expected too as well. We can see, hold on a second, let's have a clean chat. All right, so on the GPP USD, let's heal up to the higher time frame so that we can see how we got to where we are right now. So on the higher time frame, that is on the daily time frame, for example, in this case, we have a bearish trend line after connecting the series of lower highs here. We can see how we connected the series of lower highs here to give us that result and bearish trend line to give us a, a situation that supports a trend continuation to the downside. So with the bearish trend line identified here, we were able to identify a key level at the 1.18400 area, which has, which has been a major determinant of price action. We can see how this level in the month of July was a very strong demand zone for participants in this market. And it later came out to be a strong supply niche for participants in this market during the mid months of August. So right now, since the breakdown of the 1.18400 level, we have continued to see a bearish momentum on the GPUS, GPP USD, which have to still to over 200 pips right now. So during the course of yesterday's trading session, I was able to identify a structure on the one hour time frame. So since the breakdown of the 1.18400 level, which happened here, we saw the significant breakout of breakdown of the structure and as soon as price got to the 1.16480 level, we have seen price do a consolidation phase. And we can see how price consolidated between the 1.17500 area and the 1.17 area since the beginning of the week. And I were able to identify this resultant bearish bullish trend line. And I told you yesterday that if we have a breakdown retest of this bullish trend line on the lower time frame 
we want to be joining the decline. So right now we saw the breakdown, we saw the retest on our lower time frame and price continue to the downside from here. So right now we have um, about, we are running with about how many pips in profit right now? We are in about um, 92 pips in profit at the moment. So if you are taking advantage of that move, kudos to you for taking advantage, for identifying that potential opportunity. So now that we are in profit at this point, what we want to be doing is to move our stop loss to it to break even or lock in some profit at this point in time. So if we look at the current structure we have here going into the New York session today, the first thing I observe here is that we have a key level somewhere around here. So let's bring out our line chart and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. So we have this area being a demand niche, we have demand niche, then this area was broken to the downside here and then it later came back to be a supply level. So if you had missed that impulsive move, then you could have taken advantage of that move from here. So what I want to be doing first of all is to connect this level together. So let's connect this area. So we have somewhere around the 1.16900 level. Okay. So 1.16900. So we have this area right at the top, right hand side of our screen. Um, I like to give it a purple as well. So here we go. So we have a structure already at, around this area, which was respected during the early hours of today and price continued to the downside from here. So for those who had actually missed the trade, uh, for those who had missed this trade, how do we intend to join this decline? Well, uh, what I'll be saying is that um, since we have missed that second entry, I think we have, hold on a second, I think we have a, we have a trend line here. We have a trend line here. Uh, let's see how that is on the lower time frame. So let's go to the 15 minutes time frame at this point. So let's go to the 15 minutes time frame and what do we have here on the 15 minutes time frame? So we have the breakdown of that level two as well here. So what I'll be saying here is this, I'm not sure if that is going to happen, but one thing I'll be stating here is that, um, I think I saw something at this point too as well. I saw at the 1.16500 level, I can see that we have another structure here so let's label it 1.16500 so we have another structure here so what i'll be suggesting at this point is that let's see how participants in this market are going to react with this level how we're going to have price come back to do a rejection of either this 1.16500 level or price will come as far as coming back to do a retest of this bullish trend line or the 1.16900 level. But one thing we want to be seen, we don't know which level price is going to go right now. Is price going to come back into this level? Is price going to come back into this level which shares a confluence with the bullish trend line here? And one thing we want to be looking forward to is this. If price comes back into the 1.16500 level, that is this area here, and we see reverse our patterns on lower time frame, something like probably a double top structure, a head and shoulder pattern, or multiple rejection of that level, then we want to consider that to be a strength for the sellers, then we want to be joining the decline from that point. That is one scenario. Then the other scenario, remember this is for those who are not in the trade. remember? For those who took advantage of that trade yesterday, kudos to you, you're already in the trade. We want to move your stop loss to break even, you want to move your stop loss to lock in some profit, whichever suits you, that is for that. But for this, this, this scenario I'm trying to explain here is for those who are not in the trade at all. So what we want to be looking forward to is either price comes back into this area to do a reversal pattern that supports a trend continuation to the downside. And the reversal pattern could come in form of your double top, your head and shoulder pattern or multiple rejections of this level then you could take advantage of a downtrend down scenario from that point. However, if price breaks above this level, 
then we want to be looking forward to somewhere around here as an area we want to be looking forward to selling opportunities so if price comes back to do a retest of that bullish trend line or probably do a retest of the one point one six five hundred area which we identified here then we want to be looking for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside so these patterns will come in form of a double top a head and shoulder pattern a wedge whatever it is or multiple rejection of this level of the zone it could be multiple rejection of the zone then we want to be joining the selling opportunity right from that point so this is what we are going to be looking forward to on the gpusd so we still remain very bearish mind you we still remain very bearish those who took advantage of this move kudos to you well done on taking that move at this point you want to lock in some profit or move your stop loss to break even whichever suits you however for those who are not in this trade what you want to be looking forward to doing in the new york session are the two, two structures i have identified for you here on the 15 minutes and one hour time frame so we have one structure around the 1.16500 area and we have one around the 1.16900 level so we want to see price come back to either of the structure with patterns that support a trend continuation to the downside to join the decline our take profit target still remains at the 1.15500 area which is around this point and that will be dovetailing to about if you are taking it from this point you should be having around 90 to 100 pips to catch here and if you are taking it from the 1.16900 area you should be having somewhere around the 120 to 140 pips to catch and if you took advantage of the move since yesterday then you, you should be looking at about 150 pips here on the gpp usd so this is the scenario we're looking forward to on the gpp usd we have a selling momentum already and let's um let's be on standby to take advantage of that move especially for those who are not in the straight so that is that on the GPUSA and I think uh, we have like um, five more minutes left. Can I take one more pair or we go straight to do a recap of what we explained so far? I'm not sure I'll be able to use five minutes to take this. So let's quickly run through what we've explained so far here. So let's let's move into the pair we de deliberated on so the first pair we talked about today is the u.s oil and what do we have on the u.s oil um price did not go as expected yesterday though we we are still profitable on this trade remember we took this move to the upside from here we took this move from here to the upside we took about 400 pips here between the 400 and 500 pips on this one and since then we were expecting that price will come back to respect this bullish trend line one more time right above the 92 dollar level where we were looking forward to a bullish momentum but that did not happen as we saw a breakdown retest of that bullish trend line for us to join the decline so we joined those move to the downside and presently we're running with about how many pips in profit we're running with about 400 pips in profit and the first thing i told you here is to move your stop loss to break even so that you can protect your position or probably move your stop loss to lock in some profit you could lock in about 200 pips here and let's see how price plays out then i shared with you this bearish trend line we identified on the four hours time frame which was broken during the mid months of august we saw the breakout of the structure and from a technical perspective whenever we see a breakout of structure like this we expect price to come back and do a retest of that structure so with this information we want to be using the 85 dollar mark as our take profit target for the selling momentum that began yesterday so and we want to be waiting to see how price is going to relate with this level here that is we want to see how price oh, hold on we want to see how price action will relate with this level so that we can take advantage of a trend continuation to the upside from here so that's the that's the scenario we're waiting for so let's see how price is going to relate with this level that is one scenario then the other scenario is this bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame how we're going to be having a reversal pattern on this bullish trend line so what we want to be looking forward to is if we have a double bottom structure here 
then we look out on lower time frame to look out for breakouts and breakouts and retest of structure to join the rally to the upside so um it's still very bullish on the us oil so this bearish move that started yesterday is going to be seen as a retracement move so we don't know when this retracement move is going to head but we already have two areas we are looking forward to we have the first one around here which shares a confluence with the key level we identified on the daily time frame at the 85 dollar mark and then we have another one right on this bullish trend line somewhere around the 90 dollar area so what we want to be looking forward to around these zones is a reversal pattern a double bottom a inverse head and shoulder pattern a wedge whatever it is that comes up we want to be on standby to take advantage of that move our take profits i guess still remain the same area right between the 104 dollar area and the 115 dollar area so that is that on the on the that's that on the usd sorry on the us oil hold on a second please So moving on, we went on to talk about the US tech where we actually have been on a bearish momentum in the last couple of weeks. We've made quite a lot of money on, on the US tech. However, we have a scenario here that happened during the course of yesterday's trading session where we identified this um, breakout of this channel here. We took advantage of this move. Then we moved our stop loss to break even and we got stopped out at break even on this trade as price broke down the bullish trend line here and one thing i was saying here this morning is that we want to be looking forward to price coming back to to do a um to do a retracement into a sell zone which has been identified between the twelve thousand four hundred and twenty dollar area and the twelve thousand five hundred dollar area so we want to look out for patterns here that supports a trend continuation to the downside from this zone and to make things easier, we were able to scale down to the lower time frame where on the 15 minutes time frame where we were able to identify um, uh, a reversal pattern. And we also we identify a reversal pattern here on the 15 minutes time frame. We saw multiple rejection of our sell zone here. And then we had the neckline at around the $12,420 mark. And we saw a breakdown of that neckline. So what I stated here is that we want to see our price action is going to relate with this $12,420 area. And it appears price is tending towards a trend contribution to the downside. As we can see, we have this sharp rejection, this sharp candle, sharp rejection here, which looks like a shooting star candle. And one thing we want to be looking forward to is to take advantage of a selling momentum right below the $12,400 mark to join the trend continuation to the downside. So this is what we want to be looking forward to here on the US tech. And where is our take profit target? Let's look at that. Our take profit target remains somewhere around, where did we identify? Okay, around the $12,100 on a long-term perspective. So let's see how price action is going to play out in the next couple of hours. Sorry for the break in transmission. So we had, um, we went on to talk about the USD JPY. And remember how we've been expecting a bearish momentum on the USD JPY, which has not yet happened. And one thing we noticed in the last 48 hours here is that as soon as price came into the 139, 139 Japanese yen area, we have been witnessing multiple rejection of that level, which transposed into a bullish, through a channel, 
sorry we had a channel between the 139 japanese yen and the 138.1 area we can see how that has been playing out in the last 48 hours on this time frame and one thing we want to be looking forward to here considering that this is a bullish rectangle is that if we have a breakout of that channel then we want to be seeing that as a signal that the trend continuation to the upside is about to begin but remember we are not getting too excited at the sight of a signal we want to wait for price action to give us a confirmation which is likely going to come in form of a retest of the structure after which we look out for patterns on lower time frame to join the rally to the upside so that is that and the other scenario i'm still waiting for since the beginning of the week is for price to come back into the buy zone here so if at any point in time we see price break down this channel then we want to be ready and be on standby to wait for price action when it comes into our buy zone here and what we want to be looking out for when price comes here is a reversal pattern so we want to see structures like a double bottom inverse head and shoulder pattern or whatever reversal pattern of view that comes up in this point to join the rally to the upside so price coming into this area is right between we are looking forward to price coming into an area between the 137.700 area and the 137 area so let's be on standby just in case price comes back down into that structure but if we see a breakout of this channel remember we want to wait for confirmation which is likely going to come in form of a retest of the structure to join the rally to the upside so we went on to talk about the usd chf where um i told you how um for those who had missed the move from the beginning of the week here price started the week at the 0 0.96500 area and has continued to find higher highs so i tried as much as possible to find an entry point for those who had missed that move but we were not able to see as we saw the breakout of this channel here but price did not come back to do a retest of the channel as price continued to the upside from there and we also had another opportunity yesterday which i was not able to i was not around to be able to explain this to you we saw a consolidation phase here a breakout of that structure at this point and that's another opportunity that came and um, if you had missed that also i stated here this morning that we want to wait for price to come back and do a retest of that structure to give you a confirmation to join the rally to the upside so that is one scenario we're looking forward to but one thing that's still in my mind but i'm not sure if that is going to happen is that price should come back to respect either the bullish trend line here or probably the buy zone around this point where we look out for patterns on lower time frame to support a trend continuation to the upside but in the look of things on the us the chf it appears the strength of the buyers are very very strong in this market and i'm not sure if price will come at come thus far and if it doesn't a retest of this level sorry let me show you a retest of this level at 0 0.97500 could be an opportunity you could take advantage of a bullish momentum on the us the chf and if that does not happen you just can't you just have no choice than to pass the straight then we went on to talk about the euro usd where we have been expecting a bearish momentum since the beginning of the week though price at price gave us a signal on the first day of this week at the breakdown of that bullish trend line we saw price come back to do a retest of the one dollar level area multiple rejection we saw an engulfing candle take price out of that level then price came into the sell zone we identify remember the sell zone is the um golden zone area which is the 50 percent retracement uh between the 50 and the 78.6 percent retracement of this impulse leg here so we saw price come back into the sell zone here with multiple rejection of this level and i told you that we should take advantage of this price actually right under the one dollar mark which has already happened and we already in profit on this one and i made mention that for those who are not in this trade that um you could either join or wait for price to come back and do a retest of the one dollar mark area or the bullish trend line here where we look out for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside so that's the scenario we want to be looking forward to on the euro usd and our take profit target still remains somewhere around the 0 0.98500 area uh um today now we went on to talk about the gpusd which is the last pair we took today and we already in profit on the gpusd as we were able to take advantage 
of those breakdown of structure retest of that structure and we join the rally to the downside here and currently we are about over 90 pips in profit on the gpusd and one thing i stated here for those who are not in this trade is that to make things easy i was able to identify two structures we want to be looking forward to the first one is we wait for price to either come into the 1.16500 area where we look out for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation it could be a double top it could be multiple rejection of that level to join the decline to the downside and i also said if price breaks above then we want to wait for price to come into this area at the 1.16900 area which also shares a confluence with the bullish trend line that was broken during the new york session yesterday so we look out for patterns here on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside and if that does not happen please and please you can leave you can pass this trade but for those who are still in the trade, lock in some profits or move your stop loss to break even and we expect price to come to our take top take profit target zone which is right between the 1.15800 area and the 1.15400 level so this is the last pair we discussed today and um we hope we hope we're on the same page and we we are all hyped up and prepared to take advantage of these opportunities that we were able to identify during this session remember you don't get too excited at the sight of a signal whenever you see a signal it could be an engulfing candle bullish or bearish remember we want to be patient to wait for confirmation which is likely going to come in form of a retest of the structure that was broken so that we can take advantage of the move in the prior leading price action and if the confirmation does not come please and please pass the trade there are tons and tons of opportunities in the market that we can always take advantage of so on this note i want to wish you best of luck during the new york session today and i hope to see you tomorrow same time 10 a.m utc 11 a.m. West African time, same place, Extreme Speed Life Hub. Call your friends in to download the Extreme Speed Life Hub so that they can join us and be part of this family as we come here together to look at the financial market. Thank you very much for being around and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have fun and bye bye.